guys probably have already seen this, right? But that's the Red Wizard of Thay outfit, com complete with the bald tattoo cosmetic. And the cosmetic allows you to make your character actually into like a bald skull with a with a red wizard of thay tattoo on it and then the, the magic carpet uh, it's pretty cool i think they did a great job with the art like it looks really great super cool we're gonna see a lot of people surfing around on magic carpets that's for sure because it definitely is one of the coolest things that they've added to the game in a long time they've added a, a lot of cool stuff so uh what i want to do is i want to show you guys like so here's a prismatic ray you see that did almost 600 damage here's this prismatic strike so it's more to cast this and slightly less damage you can do it again there's the ray and here's the strike so i mean I would probably skip Prismatic Strike and just take Prismatic Ray. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and just because maybe something was bugged, we're going to try the Chaos Hammer again. Maybe... Yeah, see, I'm not seeing any Chaos damage on it at all. It uh, It is doing sort of like an AoE attack. But there's no actual damage coming off of it. Now, it's possible because they're chaotic monsters, they're immune. So, what I need to do is I need to find something that is... Uh, lo like, I know that it's lawful. And hit it with that. Because it's... <clears throat> it's possible that because these monsters are chaotic that they take zero damage from the chaos. Yeah, okay. Only lawful and neutral are har harmed by the spell. So what I need to do, maybe it's not bugged. Maybe it's functioning as intended. I just need to basically find something. I thought fire giants were lawful evil. Oh, he did take a bunch of damage from that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's not bad. He should be chaotic. Yeah, he is. He's chaotic. Okay, I've got that magic pox disease. Uh, that's a disease. It is a magical disease that I contracted as part of a wild surge. Even though I have my, like, bad surges turned down as much as I can, that still seems to happen pretty often. I did figure out what's going on with Chaos Hammer as well. Chaos Hammer only affects things that are neutral or lawful. All these giants and ogres and orcs and stuff are chaotic evil, so... They're not going to take any damage from it, but... So that means that I need to amend what I said earlier. I still will take it. It's just you really only are going to cast it on things that you know are lawful evil or lawful neutral or lawful good. I got commanded. All right, here... See, now that spell did a lot of damage. That was good. The other thing I noticed is that I'm getting cursed a lot, and I think it might be not only the monsters, but I think it might be like a wild surge effect. So, you know what I want to do? Um, I'll probably die, right? But we're going to, we can try it is if I go to the orchard and fight one of those liches. Cozy, how are you? Hope you're well. Happy Thursday. Hope you're enjoying whatever you're up to. Maybe you're playing DDO and having fun. 
I'm running around on a iconic wild chaos sorcerer. Testing out whether or not uh, some of the spells are worth taking. So far, I've been ha very happy with what I've seen. It's been really cool. Yeah, yeah, you bring up a great point, Trog. So, Chaos Hammer, if you're a cleric, you can make it. You can force the stuff to take the damage, right? I think that's really cool. It's unfortunate that I cannot do that as a sorcerer. And that's something that I don't know if that's built in. We're going to read it right now. Is that built into the capstone? I believe it should be because it's built into every other capstone. But Chaos is alignment damage. So anything should take alignment damage. This is a field of energy that strikes nearby enemies. So that's good. It's an SLA AOE. It's got a 12 second cooldown. And then your chaos damage caster level, max caster level, passives all go up. You get plus four charisma, plus 10 chaos power, plus 10 universal spell power, plus one magic surge percent chance, and a plus one percent with critical for all spells. No, um, no ability to force them to take damage and what we're talking about specifically is like if you look at any of the air fire water uh the savants the the main thrust of the capstone for all the other sorcerers are, is this transformation while in elemental form you gain 100 percent fortification uh you become you basically turn into like an air elemental or a fire elemental while in the fire while in the elemental form you gain spell power but then you also gain this ability um which is down the bottom it says when your electrical spell strike a creature that is resistant or immune to the damage type they will become vulnerable for the next strike so you basically gain the ability to force them to take the damage thank you for plastering all of the gifts i like some of those they look really good one of them looks like a little purple cat one there's one shooting laser beams out of his eyes i see patrick star i like i'm a huge spongebob fan so obviously one of them looks like an angry cheeseburger, although I think that's a that might be a cat. One looks like a dragon breathing fire. And then I see a bean jumping up and down and waving at me. It's pretty cool. One looks like a twister. Um, I got some action points. What am I gonna buy? My charisma is 46, so I don't need to get another point of charisma. I could get that. You know what I want to do is... Um, I'm running around in summer, so I will start putting points over here in summer. Yeah, we'll go up and we'll, we'll eventually mess around. I have a feeling this is just Scorch, basically. Major summer. Wow, that's great. Yes, I'm still working on my images and gifts and stuff for... It's been a busy year so far, so I've, I'm behind with my Twitch uh, icons and stuff like that. Life has been throwing me a lot of BS lately, so... Everybody has their fair share of BS, though, right? So, I'm not special in that regard. Okay, I'm switching my outfit. So, that's the Red Wizard of Thay. I like it, but it's not my thing. I don't like this massive, like, I want to turn that collar down. I literally, it's triggering me. It's triggering my OCD. I want to get in there and like turn that collar down a little bit. 
Um, we're going to go back to the elf. So there, that's the elf stuff. I think the elf stuff is super sharp. It's great. I would love to be able to color it. Like, I would love to make that, like, shadow, like a matted shadow black. Like, have some pure black and then some, some matted shadow for the outside. I think that would look super cool. I'd probably wear that all the time if I could dye it. Just super awesome. And I think the quiver is, like, phenomenal. Like, what a phenomenal idea to actually give us the ability to equip cloaks that aren't cloaks. They're, like, other stuff. I think that's so great. I think that opens up, like, give me, like, a C-3PO. Like, you know how Chewbacca was running around with C-3PO on his back like that? Like, we could be able to do that here, too. Like, I think that's super cool. Backpacks. Right? Treasure bags. Indiana Jones. There's a lot of stuff that they can add. Right? They could give me an Indiana Jones hat, an Indiana Jones bag. They could even give me a leather jacket. I mean, they are releasing a new Indiana Jones game, and it, I think they even got a computer voice that sounds exactly like Harrison Ford. Now, it's possible he actually did the work. I doubt it, though. But it's possible he did the work. What I think happened is that he signed over his rights for them to use a computer approximation of his voice it sounds really really good so i'm going to do the research i don't actually know uh, tomorrow night when i do my normal stream we're going to watch that indiana jones trailer actually normally what i do on fridays is i go over dungeon and dragons gaming news like anything new in the space of um of video games for dungeon and dragons but there's also been a lot of like announcements for uh, video games in general and since most of us who like Dungeons and Dragons games also like, you know, the idea of, of adventuring and playing games. So I think it's cool to take a look at some stuff like that. Dragon Age released a, a preview trailer of their new game, which I think Bioware used to be the best in, in, in the space for making um, fantasy RPGs. They're not there anymore ever since they were bought by EA. But the old Dragon Age games were awesome, so I mean, I don't think this one will be as awesome as those old ones were. But it used to be a really cool, very Dungeons and Dragons type of uh, gameplay. So I might watch that trailer as well. We're gonna watch a couple trailers. I thought about doing um, coverage for the video game shows, but so many streamers have already done them. And since my space is mostly DDO, I thought it would be sort of irrelevant, but um, I did watch them all, and I'm, I am excited about a lot of different games that are coming out. Um, some of them I'll probably play on stream. So one of the things I'll probably play on stream, although it won't be tomorrow, um, is Diablo 4 for this season. I finally got it to where I'm doing like Nightmare 100 level dungeons, which are the highest that you can do. And I'm also doing, I'm working on the pit. I'm trying to get myself to do like 100 plus versions of the pit. Um, there's also like a couple of bosses like Uber Lilith that I've been trying to kill. And um, so I'll probably stream a little bit of that just because that content is super hard to do. And I think it'd be interesting because the build that I'm using, the Necro build, um, is able to handle at least the Nightmare 100 dungeons, I've been stomping them, so um, that's really cool. So I was, I've been like upgrading my sigils and all that stuff. Um, the, door the pit, opens. I think I'm on like level 50 at the moment. You have to basically level that up three at a time. So the answers that you seek. I do plan to stream a little bit of that. A magical barrier blocks entry into the chamber marked with the I actually need to get core. death ward on me does it serve to keep you out or something else okay protection from evil I'm gonna give you greater heroism so this level 14 uh hireling comes from I think it just comes from the second level of the pack let me see take a look here
I'm assuming people are going to buy the Ultimate Edition, but I, you never know. Um, I'm sure all the different editions sell. So we watched the trailer earlier. Um, one of the things that I want to go over, though, really quick, is to just show you guys. Yeah, you do. You get it. So uh, let me see if I can show you it really quickly. Yeah, yeah. So... So the ultimate fan bundle is the one that I got. That's the what I'm showcasing for you guys. So like I'm showing you, like I used the plus three tome. I'm running around with a little imp pet. I was wearing the red wizard stuff. Um, we we saw the flying carpet. I do have the level thirty four hireling. It's just I'm on my way up to level the cap. Um, I just reincarnated. Um, using the dimensional hireling folder, we got our space. The trinket hasn't released yet um the steed is great the elf cosmetic that's what i'm wearing now but um the 14 hireling is the one that i'm using that's from the collector edition that's 80 bucks so keep in mind that's the cost of a triple a game right 70 bucks it's a triple a game so that's a very very expensive considering that it's just dlc right so but i think that um let me go back to the game i think that it's worth it if you play obviously right and um the stuff that they give is super cool like this chaos mancer class has been super fun so far arguably it's, i just started but you know i used to main a sork and the, the gameplay that i'm feeling it's it's very good it's very solid it really is fun how it turns a lot of the existing spells into these like chaos spells like prismatic spray prismatic ray chaos hammer like that's neat but anyway the whole point i wanted to show you that is this is the hireling that you would get from the collector edition for that 80 bucks and so far this hireling's been really cool like she's not dying she's not like it's just been really as far as hirelings go really really good she's constantly throwing vigor on me this is one of the coolest things that i've seen proc so far in the wild magic although i just said that she doesn't die but she actually just did die um is this unicorn that puts up a little cuddle puddle for heals like you can see it it's it's actually just here healing me as long as i stay within that little rainbow bubble um, she got ganked by by a mob that came out of this room, I think. So I spoke too soon about my buddy, but I think so far she's been really good. Like she's constantly throwing out lots of heals. I have not yet figured out what these squirrels do. I don't know what they are. I've seen them proc a couple of times. I have no idea. I wonder how Arcane Prodigy Past Life Sork feet would work with the Wild Mage stuff. Well, we can test it because I have every past life. Is it in? It's in here, right? Or is it new? Radar 3, mixed on the hireling. Great. Yeah, I mean, okay, so here's the thing. When you say great hireling in DDO, that comes, that's a loaded phrase because there are no good hirelings in DDO. All the hirelings are terrible. There is a tier list of hirelings that are better than others. So Lara Faye is on that list. Nimeth is on that list. Um, what I've seen so far there's no way sh this character is as good as Nimeth or, or Lara Fay, but she seems to be the same type. So while not like, obviously she's standing here at half health, she has not cast a renewal on herself, which is sort of idiotic. Okay, there she just healed herself. That's good. She's just trying to attack the mobs that I ran by in this side room. I, I must have run by the mobs in that initial room, which is what is triggering her. Unless they're all dead. It's possible they're all dead. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's where that stray mob came from. Um, but 
just from the objective like paying attention to how often she's healed me she's constantly throwing the renewals on me so that's good repair. the once glowing symbol of Irian sits lifeless at its center something happened that i'm not able to cast oh i know what it is yeah i was looking at those all right here we go Bro, I don't know what's going on with my bar. It, it happened because I was looking at that stuff. All right, there it is. Yeah, see, she just keeps throwing renewals or regenerates on me, which is great. Uh, down, up, down, up. Okay. So was it one of these that we were talking about? I got distracted. I'm sorry. Not arcane alacrity, right? Is it, do I have what what you were talking about, or is it another skill? It doesn't look like I have arcane prodigy. Yeah, arcane prodigy. The feat you have to select leveling. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, so that's a good. We'll look at that. We can look at that because we can show unavailable. So you're talking about this in here. Does it let me look by name? Alphabetical. Yeah, there it is. Arcane Prodigy. Yeah, I do. I have the ability to take that. It's possible that I'll take that at level 18. Uh, Past Life Sork produce a random damage effect yeah you know what i mean hey i i'll try it i i really the the what i took at level 18 was up in the air anywhere so i'll try it out and see if it you know makes a huge difference access to the dale core chamber it would seem that this chamber holds great importance normally i take the wizard one just to get the extra uh, DC on my caster level. Okay. I think one of the bad by the symbol of Kithri, things that can happen is you get cursed because I'm winding up with a lot more curses on me. Yet another magical barrier. Whatever was imprisoned within this chamber must have been terribly powerful. All right. Yeah, I dispelled that dude. I think I turned that one into a rat. There was one effect where I got turned into like a tiny little person. <laughs> it was super cool. It was rare though. I haven't seen that. It only happened once. Dark apostate damage when they curse something. What happens if you proc a curse from wild? Yeah, I mean, it'll be something that like I hope people try out. Um, I plan to try out a bunch of stuff like I'm going to try making a warlock and see what happens with the... Um, you know, with the spirit, enlightened spirit aura, supposed to proc all this stuff too. Like that would be super cool. Um, I think I can a knock this. With an intricate locking mechanism bars any further progress. The great door opens to reveal some of the doors to the control room fly shut. 
Okay, we'll see if this dude is lawful. Probably, right? Uh, he did not take any damage from that, so apparently it's chaotic. And we just, that's that blue shimmer from a dispel. I think it was what, down, up, down, up, right? We hope. As the valve yes. locks into place, the All barrier right. to the central chamber vanishes. See, now I have a blue thing over my head. I'm, I was thinking it was like either ice or electric, but it could be related to this wild surge swim, 40 point bonus to swim. So it's just interesting. Eight receptors Somebody will probably make like a master list and throw it on the wiki it is on what all the different the buffs do. I am really missing that Flight of Kings fast movement, though. Okay, buddy, get over here. No, 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 no. Stay right there. This chamber is marked by the symbol of Dolor. And the portal to the plain of Dolor opens. All at once, dust rises. Should be able to dispel these. Right? Because they belong in Dolor. Ooh, wow, that was weird. Did I turn him into a ghost? Or did that automatically just auto like does that happen all the time? I, the last of the dead are I think I kind of polymorphed him to its original state. The orbs at the back of the room are no longer engaged. And I have a debuff on me. The pa I've got that disease again. This disease is way more common than rare. Like, I'm constantly running around with this. Oh, and then I just got the bad luck curse again. Yeah, I've noticed that a lot. The symbol for the plane of uh, is seared into this chamber, and every surface is covered with a thick layer of ash. As the plane of Fernia becomes coterminous with our own, flames engulf the walls. And should be able to banish all of these things because they're from Fernia. The room cools as the final fire is quenched. The orbs go dark in their sockets. I've got that magic pox again. I mean, keep in mind, right? Like, that's super common. I took uh, this chaos control. Bad surge, get a neutral surge instead. And then I also took this. Very bad becomes bad. So you tell me, like, it seems like what would happen if I didn't take these two things? I'm constantly getting cursed and diseased, like. I just got a buff called Sparkly. Yeah. Oh, did I take those? I don't think I did. Or did I? I did. Okay. Take my companion. Oh, I forgot to do Chaos Hammer on the, um, on the inevitable. He's definitely lawful. Okay, there you go. The chamber marked by the symbol of Lamania is covered in long dead vines as the portal connecting the maternal plane to Lamania opens. Moss and shrubbery quickly engulf the room around you. 
Wow, I'm not doing any damage at all to these things. Hello? Alright, that dude got it. Did I fear the Bezikara? The trees wither and disappear as the twilight forest recedes. The orbs and the receptors cease their sparkling. Keep in mind, this is R4, right? Like, R4 heroic. So, if it looks like it's a little bit wonky, it's. No real reason to run our fours and heroics, but we're just doing it to, to test out the damage. The symbol uh, you think she'll die right there? I hope not. The dim light within has a dark for both the plane of Maybar opens and Okay, can I banish these all to Maybar? Maybe, hopefully. No, but I turned into stone. Oh, there's a reaper, though. I love the level one spell. The level one spell does so much more damage than everything else. All right, there we go. Good job not dying, Hireling. The symbol for the plane of Okay, let's go with this. With an icy hue. There we go. The room holds a sharp, lingering chill. As the portal to Rizia opens. A rhyme of frost spins quickly across the floor and wall. Oh, that was great. Nice. Yeah, I just basically deleted all of them. Oh, my hireling died. Well, it was expected. I mean, all the other times you do this with hirelings and they die almost every one. The fact that she hasn't died yet, that's good. Okay, how many? I have six. We're good to go. So we're just going to go all the way up. Yeah, I want to know what this swirly runic writing around me is. Um, I should probably shrine for this last one too, right? Did I already pass the shrine? I did. You know, it's really interesting from a perspective of somebody who plays. You would think that... Um, for a level 14 hireling or anything that's like higher than level 10 they would give the mob striding boots or just make it work like run at the same speed as a player of the similar level not just like a, a base character but she's not striding with striding 30 she's running around with like striding as if you just made the character and she has no gear on so that's like one of the things is I'm running at 30 and I'm like way out, out running her. So, uh, I thought the shrine was in there, but yeah, so that's what I would do if they gave me a chance to. That would be on a massive list of things that I would change. Um, apparently, I'm like completely forgetting where the shrine is in this quest. I probably ran right by it. I thought it was with the mobs. Did I just not see it? Apparently, I didn't see it. Because that's the beginning. I thought it was where the tiger is that you have to talk to about the key. Uh, right? There is a shrine in this quest. 
That's what I'm looking for right now, the shrine. You're trying to swap a, a spell as a VIP on your favorite soul and you can't. Oh my god. Like, that's the whole reason that we got it. Is so that people on favorite souls and sorks could swap a spell. I haven't tried yet. But maybe, do you, have you tried talking to Violet? Or whatever her name is in the Hall of Heroes to make sure that you are flagged. Like, you, you see that buff? Like, I do not see that buff on me ever since I've reincarnated. Um, I have not seen that. So I probably should go refresh and talk to her. Just to make sure that I keep that buff, because I also probably want to swap out some spells. Okay, and you don't... You don't need to rest. You're fine. Yeah, I want to swap out this rapid surge. Although I'm sure it's fine. But I want that rapid surge to be a rapid movement. Like, that to me would be very useful. Okay. We need you to pay attention now. Pull that lever when I tell you to pull it. Frago has done that. I'm gonna see if she's at least as smart as Frago. It's possible she's not, but we'll try. The final orb lights in its receptor. All right, and how do we do it? We basically make it so we have nothing targeted. And then we command her to interact. We don't alter anything else. We just basically tell her. And she will, like, click around and eventually get it. The switch there it is. Into place. Okay, so she A got it. Voice comes from above. The chamber will it's funny that the hirelings in this game, game are so dumb, yet they can do something as cool as that. Like, they can pull a lever that they, you don't highlight. They will figure it out on their own. The quarry screeches and the chill of Rizia fills the chamber. Um, I don't know. I think I just lagged. The you came for answers that the giant reborn was cursed then. The, qu the quarry screeches and the insanity of Zorik, the Quarforge speaks again. He was returned to the living by his old betrayer. Oof. Brought Something just exploded on me. What is that? Destroy all giant kind. That explosion almost the killed my hireling. And the fire of Fernia fills the chamber. The quarry screeches and the darkness of Maybach Okay, it did actually kill my hireling. Wow, I just took a bunch. Oh, that's the shadow damage. I gotcha. All right, I gotta fix that. I, I should probably make my um, death ward. Yeah, just so I don't have that happen again. The quarry screeches and the battle cry. The ancient core force. There we go. The quarry screeches and the darkness of Maybar fills the chamber. A fear reaper. Aren't you a little late to the party, buddy? They're lawful. Okay. Oh, look, I shrunk. I'm like a tiny little person again. I'm probably going to die, too. Need to get my hireling alive, just in case.
Though I've seen myself shrink. Oh, you talked to the VIP person in the Hall of Heroes, but it still didn't enable that. It's interesting. So I'm wondering if that's a known bug. Oh, that's why she died. I forgot to turn her combat on. Oh, it's pretty dumb. In that instance, I was the dumb one, not her. Okay, we can pick this up. A dark psychic energy stirs within the docent. It would be safer to let Nimbus collect the ancient artifact for himself. It's pretty good. Pop on R4. Where are you going? Hunting for gold that is flowing. Somewhere in the cold world, here there is no knowing. Hey, la, ho, la, la, la. We love camp bears, sand and stone. Let's make camp. We love games. Let's make camp and play more games. Hey, la, ho, oh, la, la. We love games. Let's sand and stone. Let's make camp. We love games. Let's make camp and play more games. Hey, la, ho, oh, la, la. We love games. Where are you going? There's no knowing what magic awaits, what evil is growing. Hey, la, oh, la, la. We love games. There's a standing stone. Let's make camp. We love games. Oh, la, la. Hunting old crypts is folly. Just play games and be jolly. Magical treasures hide in the dark. So rest in it and bark. We love games. There's a standing stone. Let's make camp. We love games. Let's make camp and play more games. There's a standing stone. Let's make camp. We love games. Let's make camp and play more games. Hey, la, oh, la, la. We love games. Hey, la, merry, la. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, la, la. La. La 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 la. Hey la, oh la 